Snaz going for the same start. Going for the same lead. Going for projectiles. Just happy to let Vada do his thing. There's a, it's a pretty loud buzz, but. Uh, sorry, back to this. It's right there, we saw Bestness going for kind of the same strategy with Lada as he was with, uh, in the last match. Hoping to just let Lada take as much damage or put as much damage onto P2 as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Zay's playing well enough. Zay's playing well enough that he was able to get Lada off of him, capitalizing on a decent amount of damage. Blue team able to make up the deficit. Uh, but right now, I don't think damage is too important. If only because uh, both teams, I mean, they have good kill power, but they require the setup. That was ill-advised forward throw. I, I expected him to throw back to his teammate. Okay, and just like that, we actually have a small, small lead for the red team. Uh, a lot of keep going for that unfair, bring it back though. Yep. Put a dangerous percentage though. Uh, if P2 forward tilt will take him out. This is the mm -hmm. But we'll see if P2 did what they can back in the first place. That side B is actually pretty good at catching landings, especially uh, it someone for coming high. And there's, there's a big hit at the end of it too, right? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of times you'll end up dropping shield just to get hit by that last one. Again. Yeah. Uh, I think Bestness is on two stocks right now. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're just seeing a little bit of. Uh, Kind of single hits. Just, uh, Not a whole lot of capitalization on either team, except for right there. Yeah. Uh, Lada, what, I didn't see what the hit was before, but able to get the side move, take out. Uh, no attempt, yeah. Attempt. Actually gets the reverse hit of F Smash to kill his own teammate. We're seeing a lot of team damage from uh, the team right now. It's a little uncharacteristic. Uh, and because of that, we actually have red team in this position where they can play very safe with Thunder Jolts and other uh, such. Well, Zay's more than happy to just kind of sit back and let Tem deal as much damage. I'd be sort of those huge hitboxes and be able to kind of zone out both characters if necessary. Yeah. Zay's going for kill, then if I get it. Ooh, Temp doing a great job of covering his teammates for cover. Now, the kind of danger here, Bestness is healing slowly but steadily. But healing, in and of itself, I think it's similar to just throwing out a bunch of projectiles. It's not anybody really dying, it's not hurting anybody. Yeah, yeah. Red Team can always move that damage back up. Uh, what's important is... Trying to take out the opponent's stocks. Right. But at the end of the day, you can still choose your opponent. This character's a little harder to fight him still. And just like that, Ooh. we have a 2v1. Zace versus. A lot of investments. Now. He's not quite gonna kill. Mm -hmm. able to avoid the smooth sun. I actually do believe Zace and Pichu have the ability to do this. Oh, definitely. Especially with Rob at the percentage that he's at, but one grab is gonna close things out. Yeah, deep breathing, getting hit by a smash while she has deep, or he, I guess in this case, has deep breathing is terrifying. Well, the is as small as he is. Oh god, yeah. That, that's the fear of god instilled in you. Likely not going to see any carry changes. I don't think so. That was a fairly even match almost all the way. That's less than a lot of maintaining it. Right. Bestness contemplating characters. Not quite disrespectful. It is one of the characters that we're playing a lot of.
Ooh, excuse me. Right out the gates, we see a lot of projectiles being thrown out. A lot of seeming more happy to trade percentage on himself than percentage on Peach. Uh, to take out Ernie. Mm -hmm. Especially with this hard hitting character on Bob. Weefit hitting surprisingly hard. Weefit is a, just a bruiser in this game. Absolutely, uh. One of those characters that didn't have a whole lot of information or data. I mean, I've seen TK Breezy, you know, like, I've seen John Numbers. Uh, but, ooh, grab release setup. Yeah, Take actually. The off of six. Well, it, yeah, that actually puts them at a two stock lead because both of them lost their first stock. Uh, and a lot of right now is actually able to rack up damage on these small bodies. Oh, yeah. Well, a lot of it is face tanking a little bit. Uh, well, like I was saying, you'd be more than happy to take the damage in order to put damage on uh, Exactly. Rob is more than happy to trade the percentage of this. Ooh, and they went for the double spike on Zard. Uh, he actually still manages to get back through that onslaught, which is a uh, very smart recovery from temporary point. I like that up the out of shield in order to get both Ness or uh, Ness, Ness and Mata off of it. Ness is still covering, taking out that squirrel or I just want to Oh my god. He's just right right back to 65. Immediately it's ping ponged around. And that that's the strength of players like Best Ness and Lada who just have that doubles mindset. Well yeah, both of them being top doubles players. Temporary plan, more than having to close out that stock down air. I swear. Yeah. That move is really strong. It's actually absurd. The entire thing's a spike. There's no, uh... It's actually more effective against some characters, too. Uh, the snakes, uh, I've, I've seen the snakes die at, like, 60%. It is ciphered instead of stealing the duration of the box. Uh, you have to air dodge at the stage at the time. Getting back into the match, I like that, uh, pummel pummel and then get hit by the soccer ball from, like, uh, Lada. Mm -hmm. And Lada oh, and a Okay. Accidental this point. If we if we see another Rob Gimp, this is entirely doable, and I, that might not even be the only win condition, but that that's certainly a doable one. Temporary plan doing a great job of getting a lot of off of his team, even being at the high percentage that he is. Exactly and back throw is going to do it. Yeah, he was buffed up. That's absolutely just going to eviscerate anyone. Okay, so now we have small little Pichu running around. A lot of going for the handshake. Yikes, they better get a game off that. It's a hard read and miss. One second. Choose Zinnia's theme. Zinnia's theme. Please. <laughs> yes. What? Going for the low tier music pick. What song was that? Uh, you can't see it yet, but Fusion is just staring at them. I'm so mad. <laughs> 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 I am outraged. Livid right now. They uh, chose the red and blue medley. That's what they did. Solid pick, but not quite as good as some of the later Pokemon games. You know, yeah. I, I gotta say, the Pokemon games music has just been getting higher and higher tier with every new release, especially with some of the remixes that we get in this game in particular. You get some amazing music from all. So Fusion is mad at the music choice, but but I want to put my vote towards it as a melee scrub. <laughs> well, they ended up going to Yoshi's anyways, so that's okay. Everybody knows that the top tier pick is going to any of the Kirby stages and picking the planet pop star. <laughs> Fight. Honestly, legalize Castle Siege just for the music. Music's, in, music's incredible. You can always gentlemen to Castle Siege Battlefield. Yeah. Just for the music. Don't play Wario. You don't play Wario, Lotta. 
There you go. That, that's the right kick, buddy. All right, going into game three. Temporary plan is Ace. We're going to close this one out so that they can get back in. Whoa, those were weird starting positions. More you know. Okay. Right out of the gates, like almost no damage on a uh, lot of best nests. Spoke a little too soon. A lot of taking <laughs> damage off stage. Best nests not quite helping with his projectiles. Yeah. And that's gonna be an early dip on Rob. Gets the spike. Maybe this is the correct stage to go to. Well, what we're seeing right here is a solid two v one. Oh. Unfortunate. Fished a little too hard, I think, for that one. Just dies for it. Yeah. That's a huge, scary thing. Got a rod. I mean, when you have a robot of destruction, it's kind of like dead. A lot of just tech in the back. Yes. Okay, uh, gets the thunder up high, but doesn't actually get the kill off that, which makes me think Ivysaur actually interrupted that. Because that's a strong move, especially that high up. I approve of this music. <laughs> we could have been listening to Zinnia's theme right now. I don't care about that. You're wrong. I, I want to hear the Yoshi chorus. <laughs> okay. Respect. Is this Yoshi's singing? Yeah. Ooh, actually gets that the forward air up B really, really strong confirm. Uh Ivysaur has some pretty gross kill confirms. Wasn't that a P2 forward tilt that got that bad? No. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, this is a stomp? <laughs> what? Wow, okay, Pokemon Stadium was Clearly, just holding them back. They came in strong on Yoshi's with the five stock. Well, Lotta with the SD at the very end, just not wanting to try to play a five, a five stock. No, and I don't blame him. But let this be a lesson, kids. Don't do the two O handshake. <laughs> yeah, the two O and a Taunt handshake is bodied. not the Taunt correct to get answer. IRL. <laughs> just like they, they're putting them in their place. Wait, the, the best Daisy. Best making a tier pick to Daisy. Tier pick or disrespect pick, change pick. Maybe he's just getting bored. I think it's a board pick. A board pick? Yeah. Only best nest. Uh -huh. Only end of best nest. Uh. A lot of with that top tier hair though. Oh. Super poofy. Gorgeous. All over the place. I bet his barber charges an extra. Probably. But it's worth it. And going into game four. Zayce and Temp looking like they might be able to take this back. Daisy, kind of a scary character though, has plenty of edge guarding power. Yeah. Plus an additional projectile in turn it. A lot of knocking both characters off the stage with that side. And like I said, that's the down tilt shield block. Just so good at the ledge. Lotta is more than happy to try to just... What we just saw there was Lotta kind of holding both players off while Best Ness is able to get in that forward air. Uh, Tarta, Warmer, whatever. Oh my god! That that Flare Blitz hit, and then uh, Pichu, I think, redirected it with an up smash, I believe? And so he just went straight up at the speed of sound. Incredible. Really, really good play. I don't know if it was intentional, but I love it. Lotta taking two quick stocks off of Red Team though. Down air into the F smash as well, yeah. Uh so Best Nest looks like he's gonna be stock tanking, which uh Peach Daisy, very good for that. Good floats, good mobility. On top uh, of that, Rob just being able to be Oh yeah. Zayce looking more than comfortable on Zayce. Oh Over my there off God. Just yeah. so powerful. That crown is so heavy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's can you loaded. Imagine getting hit in the face by like a five pound chunk of blow? Oh god. It, hurt. it would. Hurt. Especially if you got hit with a pointy head. Girls are always fighting. Have you. 
Daisy has got some power behind her. Sadly, there's a reason she's best goal. Sadly, there's no difference between her and Peach. Other than positive. Yeah, other than one just clearly being better. Uh, Daisy, I, I don't know. There's, that's arguable. That's not it's really not awful. arguable. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like objective fact. I, I Ooh. don't know. Like, when it comes to cheaters, they're that they're so strong. Temporary plan, more than happy to take the stocks. Yeah. To try to bring it back to I, I just want to. The stocks are even. So, Temp's gonna have to 1v2 here, and. Uh, it's more like a 1v1 and a half. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. The way that Best Nest is playing, it goes for the. Oh, no. He, Best Nest is playing fun. Daisy the way he's supposed, uh, he's supposed to. Especially in teams. Yeah, exactly. Let let Rob Did duke it out. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Missing the tech. Yeah, that was that was a decent spike attempt. I liked it. Oh, we're out. Oh, here. they killed it again. What are you?